All right, so I lost with Conor McGregor in the other video. In the typical Conor McGregor fashion, went in the fight, end up on the bottom, make a critical error, get choked out. And uh, I figured I'd use Conor McGregor again. I have to try to get a win with Conor. Um, like I've said before, man, Conor is not a character that I use often, but here we go. We're facing Max Holloway in the featherweight division. Let's see how this one goes. Let's see how this one goes. I'm 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 gonna try to keep this one standing. Um, but as always, man, if it if it does go to the ground or whatever, I'm going to try to welcome the grappling. I want to see if I can grapple more. You know, definitely want to see if I can grapple more. As always, I appreciate you guys checking out the videos. Definitely, I know a few of you have lost interest along the way. I I completely understand. That's how a series usually goes first episode captivates you maybe the second one and then you know progressively you kind of lose interest i get it but um for those of you that are sticking sticking with me through this whole thing i really really appreciate it all right let's see what see what we can do Veda x that name sounds familiar he's uh, kind of killing the cage throwing front leg psychics He wants to um he wants to employ a counter movement heavy style. That's okay. That's okay. I don't fight I don't run into players like this often, honestly. Especially when you start moving up and you know, when you start moving up in ranks, a lot of a lot of high level players are usually pretty aggressive. So facing someone that isn't that aggressive and kinda just wants to move around and scale the cage and Alright. Let's just hope. Let's just. I'm just hoping his whole entire style is not revolved around that front leg psychic, because that would be some. That would be some BS. Touching them up a little bit. Goes for a head kick. Lands that one. Okay. I right. threw a few of those, um, a few of those front leg side kicks to the leg. Has has me blocking low and then goes high with the head kick. I don't want to get too close to him because I, I I know for a fact a player like this he's got like he's got combos chambered like he's got he's got this. I, yeah, I see him already already going for that jab, uppercut, left hook. He's just he has that thing loaded, ready to go. What did I say? What did I say? I get rocked by it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Wow. I was not expecting that combo. I was not expecting that combo. He has drawn blood. He drew blood. Rock me twice in this round now. It goes for it a second time. Okay. Again, yes. Now, for, with this fight, I'm just going to work his body. That's going to be the goal. I think he's going to be able to do damage to my head because he's mixing things up in a in a weird, tricky way. Like what he's doing is like, you know, it's conditioning me with, with those leg kicks and then going high. So I think he's gonna get a few more rocks to the head, but we're gonna slowly break down his body and see if I can finish him in the in the, in the later rounds. Man, I was like nervous when I was about to touch his gloves. <laughs> Something about this dude feels like a troll, honestly. I was like, is he gonna is he gonna do it? Is he gonna fake fake love touch me? I don't know. Something about him just feels trollish to me. That was clean.
<laughs> Man. That combo is deadly. Okay, what the hell? Okay, what I'm complaining about right now is I'm checking it, but it's not killing the combo. Like, the Jose Aldo combination that I like to go... Okay, the, com the, the Jose Aldo combo I like to go with where you lead with the lead leg kick and then you go to the body with the roundhouse. If you check the lead leg kick, it kills the combination. That's how it's balanced. You know what I mean? Oh, come on. Come on now. That is wrong. That is wrong. That is so wrong. Now, the check animation, when you hold block and they throw a front leg side kick, you kind of move your leg away. That's how you check it in the game, but it doesn't kill the combo. That's wrong. That is really wrong. That makes that combination overpowered and not balanced properly. Also, pay, remember too that, yes, doing that, checking it like that also costs me stamina. Alright, I'm going to keep that in mind and uh, I'm going to bring that up. That's an issue that needs to be fixed. <laughs> I missed that body kick. He is slowly getting annoying. <laughs> oh, he rocks me again. He's got good hands. He's got good hands. I, I... <laughs> Do not be fooled. This is a good player. This dude knows how to play this game. He's got he's got good hands. Look at these combos. He's got good hands. If he wanted, he could really he could play the aggressive style if he wants. I think he's trying to prove a point. Honestly. I've run into a few of you that tell me, you know, after the fight or something that you were the reason why you were doing something over and over again was to show me how broken it is. I think maybe that's what he's going for. I get it. Point made, bro. Point made, bro. Oh. Even on a whiff. That's not right. That's not right. It should be very... Yeah, it should be similar to the Jose Aldo combo. If you guys ever use that combo, and if you throw it and you miss, if you miss the lead leg kick, you cannot combo the body kick. That makes it... That makes, that, that, that makes it so you can't abuse that Jose Aldo combination. You can't abuse that combo. This one right here, you can clearly abuse it. My leg is getting chewed up. But this is good. This is definitely good. You run into different players doing different things and exposes little issues. And I'm kind of puzzled a little bit because I'm not sure exactly how to stop him. And I know I need to stop him. The path I've chosen is the path of body damage. We'll see if it pays off. And if you guys don't already know this, if you hit someone in the body, if you land body strikes in the game when their stamina is low, you do more damage. Yeah, slowly keep working it. And he's not like even making any effort to block it, it doesn't seem. He's rocked. Again. Man, why isn't he catching any of these? I 
I should have should have gone to the body right away. Damn, that straight was a piston. I like that one. He's blocking his body now. I see him doing it. He's blocking his body now. Okay, and this round is over. I appreciate you guys checking out the videos. I really, really, really do. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It makes all the hard work worth it. I am working my ass off, man. But my father taught me that hard work pays off. Thank goodness I had him in my life growing up. Basically, I mean, I've always... Might as well talk about something else while, while this fight's going on. I've always had... I've always had, like, strong father figures in my life. Like, gra my grandfather's uncles, my biological father. Good teachers. Just, I've, I've had pretty good role models growing up. And I've talked about this before. In, in past videos, I've never been the type of person that had fighters or celebrities as role models. And I, I, I don't like when people have celebrity role models. Oh my lord, he, he rocks me. I lost focus for a sec. I, he, I knew he was going to go for it, but I fell for it again. <laughs> Good job. Anyways, it was like... When a fighter does something that you don't believe a fighter should do and, you know, people say, man, what about the kids? What about the kids looking up to the fighter? I'm like, man, the kids should not be looking up to the fighter, period. The fighter is not a role model. Celebrities are not role models. Role models are your teachers, your father, your mother. People that are have been in, have act oh my lord, I get rocked to the legs. Okay, bro. Okay. Holy crap. A role model is someone that you can actually watch. Someone that's in your life. Someone that you can see the way they genuinely live their lives you don't know what celebrities are doing behind your back you don't you don't know you know we see them on the tv we you know we listen to their music we fighters or whatever i mean how how, how much do you really know about these people you know you see interviews and you try to make educated guesses on what their per real personalities are i mean you don't know what they do behind their backs you know behind our backs behind the backs of fans you, you don't know Role model is someone that you can watch, someone that you're close enough to know that whatever you see is, is real. Even then, it's difficult. Because even people that are really, oh my god, he's rocked. Dropped. That's what I was waiting for. And this fight is done. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that paid off. That paid off. I'm starting to see a legit strategy right here with that with that body work. I'm starting to see something clearly here. Starting to see a, an, an actual game plan that one can implement against similar opponents. When you notice, when you feel like your head is gonna be damaged a lot in the fight just because you're mixing things up and it's a five round fight, I would suggest you invest in that body. You do it intelligently. You invest in body strikes, believe in it. Don't, don't stray away from it, keep going for it. And eventually, eventually it could pay off. As we stop Max Holloway in the what? Was that the fifth round? I think that was the fifth round maybe. Alright. Let us move on. I'll be right back very shortly with the next fight.
We are using Cody Garbrandt again. And this time, this time, I'm going to see if I can implement a leg kick heavy style. This is something I've wanted to do. I really have wanted to do this for this uh, for this series. At least have one fight where it's like really leg kick heavy. Like come in like Jose Aldo or a Justin Gaethje style where the, the purpose is just to break you down. So let's see what let's see what we can do here. That's if he doesn't kick if he, if he doesn't uh, kick me to shreds first. He's also kicking. Missed that one. I like that TJ stance too, that wide stance. His legs will be right there for me. There we go. There we go. This is my kind of fight right here. I like it. Man, he needs to... Homeboy, you gotta get these leg kicks under control right now. It's getting out of hand, boy. He needs to do something to get these leg kicks under control. It will, yeah, it's just, it will get to a point where he's not going to be able to handle a man. Man, this is the one thing I will tell you as he goes for, okay, he's trying to take me down. I think he should try to check that thing. Or kick my legs back. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, he switches his stance. That's not good though. Cause now I'm just gonna work this one. <laughs> he shoots. For some reason people consider it like cheesy when you throw leg kicks. I don't I don't I mean I really don't get it. I feel like they're balanced really well in the game. If, I, if you get a few of those things checked, you yourself are completely screwed. Honestly, I think it's way more balanced in this game than it's ever been in any other game that I've played. It's definitely more balanced in this game than, than UFC 2, that's for sure. I, think it's, I actually think the leg kicks in this game are more balanced than the leg kicks in UFC Undisputed 3. UFC Undisputed 3 was kind of... There was a high chance that you could get one check and your leg was like snap, like Edison Silva style. But it was like based on like probability. It wasn't consistent. It, it, it's not something you can game plan for. You know what I mean? But um, in EA Sports UFC 3, in, in, in this game, if someone's throwing leg kicks at you, you can check that thing. When you check enough of it, they damaged your own legs. So... It, it, it definitely is balanced. Could he be annoying? Yes. For sure. I'm sure this dude's annoyed by him, but... He's just not doing a good job of stopping him. Man, Cody is so fast. You can tell that speed difference between him and TJ too. I actually think the speed difference between Cody and TJ is a lot wider in real life. I mean, in, in their fight, oh my god. I did not realize Cody Garbrandt was that fast. I mean, that dude is fast. Right there, he's, he's, I checked one. Tried to throw a leg kick with his damaged leg. And now he's twice as screwed.
I first got a glimpse of, of Cody's speed when he fought Thomas Almeida. That was like... Uh, it was child's play. And then he fought Dominic Cruz, and Cruz could not keep up with him. But then I saw it in full blast against TJ. Ha <laughs> ha! That dude would let his hands go and like, oh my god. Very impressive speed. But as always, you know, you know what to say about timing. Beat speed. Cody depended on that speed a little bit too much. And slight, slight miscalculation, slight error as they were exchanging and TJ dropped them. So that was it. I'm looking forward to your rematch too. I think TJ is the more complete fighter. He's got more weapons on the feet, on the ground, I think so as well. Cody likes to just wing a right hand for the most part. This dude's getting chewed up. My round. My round again. It is only going to go downhill from here, man. I think, I think round number three is going to be real critical. I think he needs to just keep switching over and over again so he does not take damage on one of these legs. Both of them are damaged at this point, honestly. But that lead one is worse. There we go. Nice pull. Trying to let his hands go. Checked. I felt that one. He's rock. <laughs> oh. Oh man. That is, this is the worst right here, man. When every part of your body is damaged. Your head, your legs, your body. I need a Muay Thai fighter next. I need a Muay Thai. I miss, I miss my Muay Thai already. I've used two boxers right now, Connor and now Cody. I need my Muay Thai back. Oh man, man, he, he's getting up way too quick, gotta let something recover, oh my god, this fight's done, okay, honestly man, he made a lot of mistakes in this, in this fight, one of them being he didn't start taking care of those leg kicks early on, and then he would just get up so quickly every single time he got dropped, but um, I... I don't know, I came into this fight specifically wanting to do that. And that is it. That is it. I think I'm going to do one more fight. Either... Okay, I'm going to check featherweight and I'm going to check the strawweight division. 
Whichever fight, whichever one I get a fighting, then we'll go. I want to use either Aldo or Yoana Young J check. I'll be right back with you guys very shortly. Last fight of the day, we are using Rose Nama not not Rose Nama Yunus. I'm using Yoana Yon Jacek facing Rose Nama Yunus. And was that fresh maze that I just saw? Hold on, people. Hold on. We're gonna have to sit up for this one. We're gonna have to sit up, do a little bit of stretch for this one. Fresh maze. That dude comes to fight every single time. He comes to fight every single time. Um, he's one of those players that, man, he lives by the he lives by the bullet and dies by the bullet every single time. Like he really does not care. He just comes at you, guns blazing, stays in your face, does some real weird stuff. Let's watch this. Watch this right now. He's not going. He's not even going to touch gloves. He's just came to fight. All right, boy. Here we go. And we have to match it. We have to match it. If you do not match it, you get eaten alive. And honestly, his style is not like it's not the style that you can just move your way out of it or use elusiveness to just avoid it because he throws strikes everywhere that's the difference between him and other aggressive players i've played you know someone like swizz is very good and just brings the fire at you but for the most part you just gotta worry about combos to your head this dude right here man it's oh my god right there he's gonna rip everywhere all right no more talking Caught that one. Woo! Rocked him. And he can do this as effectively from Southpaw too, which is just so weird. It's like... Now he's in South Paul and the angles have changed. Okay, I don't like I don't like him slipping to the outside of that uppercut. That's not that's not good. The vulnerability on that, if he if he hits me with that left hook, is just not good. Not good. Can you just imagine this dude's like fingers right now as he's playing this? Like the amount of finger gymnastics he's going through just to put these commands. See it right there. I don't like that. I don't want to get hit with that left hat. I don't want to get hit with that left hook. I don't. I just. I don't. Okay. We're gonna try the uppercut a few more times, and if it stops working, if I notice that he's really slipping to the to my right, then we're gonna switch to right hooks. Just gotta make reads, man.
This guy, you have to fire back. You just have to fire back. Let's try that elbow again. See what. What? What did I get hit with? I need to know what I got hit with. Oh, I don't. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Crap. Can't game plan for it if I don't know what I got hit with. Caught him. And he's still firing back while hurt. That dude is a that dude's a fighter. Comes to fight. Why are you trying to slow dance, boy? Why are you trying to slow dance? I think the crowd is uneasy. I don't think the crowd likes this. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. So that was a left hook. That was a left hook on the uppercut. Okay. Maybe... Maybe he got lucky. Or maybe it's tactical. We'll find out. It's tactical, because he keeps leaning to that side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my lord. Whew. What a fight so far. Right there. Let's do it. Let us do it. One of us is gonna die. One of us will die right now. It's gonna happen. Oh, it's five rounds. Thought it was three rounds. Okay. Well, we've got time. <laughs> yes. Yes. That right hook has found. That right, that right, that right hook has found its home. Because he keeps leaning to the left. Again, there we go. Mm. Rocked. This fight's done. Good job. Good job. I wish I could have stood there for a second and gave him the positive bow. Because as, as ugly as that dude's style is, I respect it. I do respect it. He throws himself right in the fire. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it does not work. And this is what he does every single fight. Every fight. That's it. That's that's what he does. I respect it. I respect it. All right. That is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, people. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section if you did. And I will be right back tomorrow with episode... I don't know. Episode 9? I'll be right back with episode 9 tomorrow. And uh, see if I can upload two videos tomorrow. But I am out of here. 
Keep yourself safe and have a wonderful day.